miss something? Lord, bless these rings and make sacred that which they represent. The deep and never-ending love and faith that Steve feels for Kayla and Kayla feels for Steve. May these rings always remind them of their love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Steve, repeat after me. Kayla, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Kayla, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Kayla, repeat after me. Steve, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Steve, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Steve and Kayla, may the Lord Jesus bless you and your families and friends. May Jesus, who loved his church to the end, always fill your hearts with his love. May he grant that as you believe in his resurrection, so you may wait for him in joy and hope. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. For as much as you have pledged yourselves to each other in the presence of this company, I do now, by the authority vested in me, pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Johnson and family. Jennifer couldn't be here. She would have loved all this. No, <laughs> but being with Jack right now is more important. Yeah. Wait a minute. Jack's not going to be here? No, dear. Jennifer said they wouldn't be here. Uh, something happened. I don't Jennifer didn't say what, but she said neither of them would be here. Jack's the best man. Who's going to give the toast? Oh. Maybe one of the best friends of the groom. No, I don't think so. I've done enough public speaking for the last me about a year. Both? You're not going to deny us the pleasure of hearing you do it, are you? I think you can get along without it. I don't know, young man. You are very eloquent when you want to be. Yeah, Dad, you're very elegant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think so, do you? I want you to give the toast. You don't even know what a toast is. Do too. We have those eggs every morning. <laughs> oh, well, what about that? Oh, you, you can't turn that down. Okay. Uh, everybody listen up here. Hello? Yes. Yeah. 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 Stop kissing over here. <laughs> I was just informed that um, the best man will not be here. So I've taken it upon myself to propose a toast. All right. Okay. Steve and I have lifted many a glass in toast over the years. This one's different. This one's special. Gally Wags married my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of different things can happen to people. Some of them good. Some of them not so good. But all you have to do is take a look at Steve and Kayla 
see the love that they share and see how happy they are. And you know that that love can get you through anything. That life can be good. Stephen Kayla, I want to quote an old Irish proverb. May the winds of good fortune always be at your back. <laughs> Time to party! <laughs> I think this one's ours. Pops turn now, if you don't mind. Hey, I'm dancing here. <laughs> you were dancing here. <laughs> I'd love to. Oh. Yeah, I have this dance, Mama? Oh, son. As far as I'm concerned, you can have every dance. What, and make all the bachelors in this room jealous? Oh, you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I just heard about, about Jack, about what happened at the wedding. How's he doing? Oh, not so great. Um, look, uh, come in. Thanks. You know, I've tried so hard, and it's taken so much time to get to where we are. And I still don't think he trusts me completely. Jennifer, I'm sorry. I put you in a difficult position about, about keeping my secret, and after everything you've done to be so totally honest with Jack, but there wasn't any choice, and there still isn't. I know that, and, and I said that was okay. I know it had to be that way. I just hope Jack understands. Well, I just hope that tape you made worked and his articles in the paper will just stop. Wait, but that's right. You don't know. He, he agreed to forget the whole series. Do you think he really means it? Well, I don't know. He hasn't really brought it up again. But then he has, he has been preoccupied. We're just going to have to keep our fingers crossed and, and hope that that's over. But what's important now is that Jack needs me. Whether he wants to admit that to me or himself or anybody else. And I am not going to let anything stand in our way ever again. You, oops, sorry. Sorry. No, you, you really okay. should keep this door locked. There's killers walking the streets out here. It's okay. Come on in. Well, you're in. It's Dr. Carly Manning. What happened after I left? Oh, it was great. It was great. You really should do it sometime. I mean, you know, so laugh a rama. Look, I, sh I should go. You really have to go, scheduling. Uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a late shift at the hospital, actually. Jennifer, I'll call you tomorrow or whenever. All right, great. Great. Uh, um, Jack, I really want to talk to you. You should stop while you're still on safe ground. I'll fill in the blanks, really. I'll do when you get the chance. And please make it heartfelt. I would have. 